So first thing, this is the furlough look. I don't know if I like it. Anyways, I wanted to go over a quick update on um, why I had the service wagon come out to my house and provide service. And the main reason was my FM and AM radio, uh, or FM radio, since it doesn't actually come with the AM radio, my FM radio quit working. It would just get a scrolly wheel. So if that happens to you, there's a couple of things you can try before you actually do your service visit. Um, you need to do the two wheel scroll reset. And then after that, there's the harder reset where you actually hold down the brake, the two scroll wheels until the actual screen goes black. And then the Tesla logo pops back up. And a lot of times that will actually fix the radio um, loading issue. My radio actually was completely done, so I did that. When I made my service appointment, I put that in the notes. And so the service wagon actually went ahead and ordered a new FM radio to replace mine since I tried those. And what they typically do is they would try the same things, then they replace the radio. So that is the reason I had them come out. Now, they were supposed to come out on a Thursday previous week, and they called me and said the radio uh, had not come in yet and that they needed one more day. Called me actually the next day and said that they had gotten the radio in. While I was on the phone with the guy, which was the actual technician, I asked him about my body panels that I didn't necessarily like the work done at the service center. And he said, when I come out, I'll add time to the ticket so that I can take a look at them. And if you want to just come out and you can look at it while I'm adjusting the panels, so they are six feet apart and everything like that. Basically, he said he would adjust the panels, have me come out, look at it, tell him whether, whether he wanted me to move it somewhere one way or the other. Um, we kind of just did it together, and we just stayed our separate part, separate um, distances away the whole time. And it worked out really well. Um, and I also learned how to... Um, adjust all these panels, which as someone who uh, got certified in, in auto body in high school, I knew how to do this. I just was too scared to do it on this expensive car. And so I wanted Tesla to do it. Now that I know where all the brackets are, where all the clips are, so I can make sure I don't break any clips, I might actually make a video on how to do this in the future. I will show you how to do it in case you have an alignment issue. Because I'm probably going to go back and just tweak it a little bit more maybe i don't know i'm still happy with it though all right on to the video um first impressions of the front hood is i'm still not happy with it um it's just it's above the fender and above the front bumper where it meets and that's not the way it's supposed to be it should be nice and flush with the front bumper and the two side fenders so that was from my earlier service visit to Charlotte, North Carolina. These are pictures from the factory of how the hood alignment would look. And as you can say, it's actually a pretty good comparison compared to um, after the service visit, but still that bottom right side just was up above the bumper just a little bit. And dirt would get on my paint protection film and get under the edges. And that's where it is today. After the service visit though, um, they didn't really make it better. They actually, they, they said everything, they did everything they could, and what I actually got from it was that the bottom right was higher than it was previously. And if you go back, and I'll put the link to the video in the comment section, or in the description, some people actually said, you know, that they thought that the, the hood was warped it was so bad but here you can see the left side is very flush the right side just is not as you can see in this picture the right side is slightly higher than what the left side doesn't look flush so this is pretty level and it just pops up right there this is my problem pretty level but it pops up right here you can even see where it's getting under my dirt's getting underneath my own but here we go Tesla service wagon uh, said that called me and said he would actually take a look at it with me 
my thought was to add some shims to the fenders and body panels. So as you can see here, we added two shims where there's twos on the right fender and the driver's side fender, two in the front bumper on the driver's side, one on one bolt hole over, and then one on both of the left fenders as well. Once we noticed the right side lifted up, we also need to lift the left side. The results were a pretty flush um, fender to hood panel and the bumper is just slightly higher in the center. Here you can see after the uh, wagon visit versus after the service visit, that right side is now nice and flush. It looks a lot better. Then you go back to the original alignment on the left and then after the service wagon on the right from a similar view and it's, um, it's still a little bit better. The center bumper is the only part I think I would fix, um, possibly. So, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Check out this video up here. And we'll see you next time.